Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's, it's. Good afternoon, adjudicators, parents, and fellow contestants. Heroes. As children, we all had our favorite superheroes. We loved them, worshipped them, pretended to be them, and even dressed like them. Now that we're older, we are aware that heroes are on high demand, but sadly, they are not easily found. If we take a look around our world today, there's not a single country where some form of terror, ugliness, or depravity overwhelms it. The world needs heroes. We need heroes to prevent recent genocides, like the Christian genocide in the Gaza Strip, and to catch falling airplanes in Ukraine. People have become desensitized to the point where hardly anything seems shocking or repulsive anymore. So you may be asking yourself, where do we find such heroes? Do we search for them in our leaders, presidents, preachers, teachers, or even our own parents? But is it really possible that your mom, the great seven science teacher, is some kind of supernova in disguise? <laughs> It is my belief that a hero is a person who wakes up every morning questioning how he or she can change the world for the better. There's one person in particular that I think depicts a true hero. By his actions, he is making the world a warmer, happier, and more peaceful place. Narayan Krishna is my hero. He's a simple man with a willing mind and a willing heart. Krishnan was an award-winning chef on his way to a very bright future. When the sight of an old and destitute man eating his own human waste out of hunger set him on a completely different path. In the following week, he quit his job and within a year, he had founded the Akshaya Trust, which feeds and takes care of the mentally disabled people in India. He prepares and serves three warm and fresh vegetarian meals every day which he often hand feeds to the people he finds under bridges and other abandoned spots. He also provides haircuts and shows men to give dignity to those he serves. Krishna does not only care to feed the hungry stomachs, but to feed the individual spirits as well. In his own words, Krishna has said, food is one part, love is another part. Food will give them physical nutrition and love will give them mental nutrition. Mm -hmm. Krishna is my hero. He truly gives of himself and has a deep understanding of mankind. He was selected as one of the top 10 in the CNN Heroes 2010 list. To date, he has served over 1.2 million meals to India's homeless. Krishna has made me determined to try and make a difference in the world. So I leave you with this challenge. Charity begins at home. Start making a difference in your world today.